Okay, welcome to part two of the Ecstatic Waters how-to videos. In this one, I'll show you how to download Ableton Live and install it on your computer. The most important thing you need to know is that you do not have to purchase this program, ever. I'll go over that again. It's going to ask you some questions and it might be a little confusing, but I repeat, you do not have to purchase this program. The demo version will work fine indefinitely. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Ableton Live homepage. I've made it easy for you. If you go to my website, stephenbryant.com, click on Music, Symphonic Works, Ecstatic Waters. This is the main Ecstatic Waters page uh, with a lot of information, including a perusal score. You can download a recording. Here's the tech info that goes over everything in these videos and much more. Um, the how-to videos. This links to these videos themselves, but the one we need for our purposes right now is this link. And I'll try to keep this updated as they change their website, but this takes you directly to the download page on ableton.com. Or you can just type in ableton.com slash downloads, as you can see right here. Now, as of today, they give you three options. This might change in the future, but it should remain basically the same. The middle option, Ableton Live 8, is the one we want. All you have to do is click on Try Live and it'll start a download. Now be aware this download is rather large, it's about 560 megabytes. So hopefully you're on a fast connection um, at your university or office. Uh, you'll just probably need to let it run for a few minutes. Once this finishes, you will then have a disk image, a .dmg file loaded on your computer, probably in the desktop or it might be in your downloads folder. It's wherever you have your browser set to download files. For my purposes, I have it here on the desktop. It'll look something like this. The .dmg stands for disk image. So I want you to double click that. A license agreement will come up. Read through that and agree. And another window will pop up. This is standard installation window for live. Now it says drag this folder to your hard disk. Actually, you want to drag this to the Applications folder uh, in your main hard drive. Mine is called System. So you open that up, scroll down, you see Applications. If you don't have this on the left, you've changed it, uh, then it should be right here. It's the same thing. So you'll see you'll drag it from there into here. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have it here installed. It should open into this folder right here. All you have to do is open that up, or you can double click it, either one, and you'll see the live.app. That is the program itself. So at this point, you can double click it. Now, it's going to present a few screens and questions uh, about getting a demo license. Uh, probably need your email in order to send you the license key for this 30 day license. Mine doesn't do that because I are already own the program. So I can't show you exactly what these screens look like. However, I recommend you go ahead and get the license, enter your email, and you'll get a key which will unlock live for 30 days. And during this period, you can set it up with your interface, choose the interface outputs that you want to use, and more about that in the next videos, uh, and then save those changes. And so now you have a customized version that works at startup for your setup, for your performance. After those 30 days expire, then all that changes is you cannot save or make any other changes to this live set. It will still work just fine in performance. So I repeat, you do not have to purchase the program. Just use the 30 day period. And once that expires, keep using the program normally. It'll probably ask you if you want to use it in demo mode when you start it. And that's all you need to do is just click demo and it'll run just fine. So this is an overview of how you install Ableton Live 8. Uh, the current version as of this video is 8.1.1, which is what you need for the current live set. They may update that. In fact, I'm sure they will. Uh, any later version should work just fine with the current set 1.2c. But more about that in the next video.